Hey, there's Skip Coriel right there, ex-Marine. How are you, Skip? I'm doing great, James. Thanks a lot for having me on. I really appreciate it. All right, well, get it. You know, we're all excited about this. I, I know that there's a number of us that are going to try to go. Uh, tell us a little bit about the event and how it's been organized to actually get to Washington. Sure, yeah, the Second Amendment March, uh, we started organizing that 13 months ago. Um, as the founder, I started it on my own, and it's been uh, building uh, like a snowball rolling downhill for 13 months now. Um, it's, uh, it's organized into three phases. Uh, first phase is Second Amendment Town Hall meetings, which we've been having uh, for the last uh, nine months or so all across the country. Uh, and then the second phase are state capital rallies, which started last week in Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, we're, those are happening all over the country between now and April 19th. Uh, we have 40 state coordinators right now uh, that are uh, setting up uh, marches like that. And then everything culminates on April 19th at the Washington uh, National Monument grounds um, right there in Washington, D.C. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, Skip. So, so are you using, let's say, the Tea Party as a model for what you're doing? Well, no, not really, because uh, the Tea Party didn't even exist when, when we started. Uh, it was, wasn't even a blip on the radar screen. Uh, there is no model, because I don't know that this has ever been done before. No. Uh, as maybe they're using us uh, as hey, their there model. You go. I don't know. But, <laughs> you know, we, we are kind of like a, uh, you know, a Tea Party for gun owners. So could be, who knows? Yeah, right. Now, no, no, no. Obviously, I, I like the idea, and I was, I didn't know up until right now that you had been organizing things in different cities. So I think many of us uh, that were unaware of that are now aware of that. Uh, and this, and the city part of it, or, or the areas that you're organizing these in, are they published? I mean, how does it all take place? Sure. Yeah. If you go to our website, SecondAmendmentMarch.com. Uh, that's all letters, all one word, secondamendmentmarch.com. There's a bunch of tabs up near the top. Uh, you click on a news, and you can go down to state news, and you will see all of the state rallies that are being organized uh, right now, as well as a whole bunch of uh, other news about the national event, uh, the speakers that we have, uh, you know, all kinds of things like that. Okay, I got two questions for you. Number one, uh, I understand you've probably organized... Uh, how to, uh, how the folks are actually going to get to the Washington, yeah, D.C., um, right? Basically, what's happening, James, is uh, people are forming buses all across the country. Uh, obviously, some will, some will drive, uh, some will fly, um, but some are organizing buses, and some are also organizing uh, train, train rides as well. And there's a place on our website where you can go. If, if you're organizing a bus... You can register that with us, and then other people can sign up uh, for your bus so that it gets filled up. Okay, good. Then, uh, and, and hotel arrangements, are they made by the individuals, or is your organization uh, sort of filtering that as well? Um, hotel arrangements are made by the individual, uh, but we have uh, signed an agreement with uh, a, a big hotel uh, in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, it's very gun-friendly. Uh, you know, only a uh, couple of miles from the event uh, and with a good rate. So you can go on our website um, under travel and you can uh, sign up and reserve one of those rooms if you like. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So, so let, let's get to the part where what's going to take place in Washington when I arrive. What's going to, tell me about the event. Sure. Uh, we have got a whole bunch of stuff uh, planned. It, it, it starts at 10 a.m. and it runs till 4 p.m. Um, and we've got uh, a long list of, of speakers uh, for you. Um, you know Susanna Hupp, uh, she will be there speaking. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman, uh, he'll be speaking. Mark Walters, a host of Armed American Radio, he'll be there. Um, a, uh, a new fellow named Bill Hunt, he's running for Orange County uh, Sheriff very pro-Second Amendment law enforcement fella. Uh, he will be speaking. Um, uh, Nicole Stapp. Oop. I, I think we lost Skip. Uh, I think his screen freezed up on us, and uh, I think he's coming to us from the Midwest there where we might have lost the transmission on that. But 
We'll try to get him back. If we don't get him back, um, then we may have to bring him on again. But I, I think this is uh, one of those situations where if, if you're available, I, I think we need to go to this in Washington. And, and we here at the uh, studio are trying to organize something as well so that we actually participate in this. This is the opportunity for you and, and me to, to be seen and heard and, uh, and, and have an opportunity to interact with people up the chain there. Uh, I'm absolutely certain the NRA is going to be there. I know, for instance, that uh, Skip worked for Ted Nugent at one time. Is he back? I'm here. Yeah. Okay. I, I can just barely hear you, though. I'm sorry. I'm, I must have breathed too hard on my computer. I apologize <laughs> for that. I just got through telling people that don't, didn't you at one time work for Ted Nugent? Yes. Yes, I did. I was uh, the state director for Michigan for Ted Nugent United Sportsman. That started out as uh, Ted Nugent World Bow Hunters. Uh, yeah, I, I was working with him for about uh, 10 years. Okay. And I'm sure you probably contacted him. And if he doesn't have a previous date, uh, we would hope that he, he might be there as well. Well, we are still hoping for that. Um, there is a big demand for Ted Nugent, not just at this March, but across the country and that's about the time the touring schedule starts so we'll, we'll keep trying to work that and we would love to have him uh, there okay well let me ask you this too because i don't want to make this sound as though this is the end of what you're doing so after washington dc what do you plan on doing well if you ask my wife uh, i plan on going to disneyland but uh, <laughs> i've been uh She's been sticking with me through thick and thin through the last 13 months. Um, originally, I had planned it as a, a one-event deal, um, but we are getting a lot of encouragement to do this again next year. Um, so we will probably do it again next year. We'll wait and see how this event goes. I expect it to be a big success. If that's the case, then that shows that there's a demand for it, and we will, we'll, we'll keep doing it. Well, I would think, and then this is just based upon uh, my earlier conversations with the NRA and Rachel Parsons, where there are so many bills right now in state legislature about Second Amendment, about gun rights, that I would hope, okay, I would hope that you would stay with this, and because there's a lot of things going on in every state, wouldn't it be nice, and hey, I'm just going to propose this, wouldn't it be nice if we were able to have a rally uh, at some of these state legislature buildings, um, showing support for uh, the gun rights bills that are taking place, and Second Amendment in general. I'm sure that the NRA would probably get on board with that idea. I, I don't want to speak for the NRA, but I'm sure they would. Uh, you know, I think you've got your hand on, on, on a, a real live wire here, uh, Skip, and I, and I hope you don't spend all your time at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. I'll, I'll probably go fishing and, and then come back and get, get back to work. But, you know, what you're talking about, I think, is a, it's, a, it's a great idea. It's a good concept, and it's certainly very much needed, kind of a, a rapid deployment force uh, for all the states. I mean, if, let's say, Nebraska has a, an anti-Second Amendment bill coming up, uh, we could go ahead, we could plan a, a quick rally over there and send a couple of thousand people to the state capitol. And we, we could be doing that all across the country because, quite frankly, you know, after this um, Chicago versus McDonald uh, Supreme Court case is over, there's going to be a lot of work uh, for these uh, state grassroots organizations, and Second Amendment March could certainly help out in something like that. Uh, you know, Skip, we need guys like you. Okay, now I, I realize your wife is probably saying the same thing, but <laughs> <laughs> but we need guys like you who are organizers, who are experienced, who know what the trail is like and where things can go if it's gently guided along. And, and I hope that your organization sticks with this. Certainly we want to, we're hoping to participate with you on the 19th. We'd like to bring you on after the 19th, maybe get a look at what's going to take place in the future. So I'll give you a little while to work up a good plan for us, okay? All right, that sounds great. And uh, you have access to us anytime you want, James. Ah, thank you very much, Skip. Hey, I'll see you in Washington. All right. I'll be looking for you. Have a good day. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming on.